Hello, my chatty base. Hello, my besties. If you're watching this, well, when you're watching this, it means that my book box is officially out. I kind of want to take you through the process of how this all happened. So I've been filming for the past year making of the book box. And that's what this video is. If it's a little all over the place, it's because, well, because I'm a little all over the place. So you should expect that already. Anyway, enjoy. So I am starting this recording in October. By the time you're watching this video, it is probably around March. I am so excited to take you through this entire process. I just thought of this idea, which is why I didn't start it in June. Officially, this started June of this year when I got an email asking if I wanted to be a part of a book box. And I was like, that's so interesting. Like I would design my own covers. I wonder, I wonder if I'd be good at that. I wonder if I'd like that. I love book covers and I love them meaning something. So I thought it was a really cool idea to kind of make my own based on whatever the book is especially because I get to pick my favorite books that sounds so exciting and so fun but at the same time so fucking nerve-wracking because it's like will people like it will I do a good job will anybody even want to buy it like there's a lot of insecurities going through my brain because anxiety but at the same time I'm excited so I figured I would record this process I just forgot until now so but it's okay we haven't done much so far basically all we've done is choose the books so i've chosen some of my favorite books so we've got redeemed by lauren asher my bestie of course i had to include her in this and we've got buying and keeping 13 by chloe walsh which is the ones i'm most excited for because that's insane archer's voice by mia sheridan one of my favorite standalones of all time and we've got the sinner's duet by sophie lark you guys know i fucking love sophie with my entire soul so that's gonna be like the box I'm gonna throw up and then I'm also doing a special edition of Say You Swear specifically for Sweetgrass because I'm going to the Sweetgrass signing in North Carolina? South Carolina? Somewhere in Carolina. <laughs> I just don't know if it's south or north. I forget. Anyway, oh my god I'm so excited. Oh my god I'm so excited and I'm so excited to bring you along this journey. We're gonna have a lot of emotional breakdown. This is gonna be a roller coaster of emotions. Anyway so so far we've picked the books and I am coming up with the ideas of exactly what I want each book to look like and we have FaceTime calls and kind of plan everything out and then it goes to the designer's hands and then it comes back to me. So basically right now we are just working on what we want every cover to look like, the idea of every single one, what we want to make it like specially mine, what we want in the back covers and the front covers, like every little detail, colors, paperback or hardcover, bookmarks, if you want, if, if I want any like little things inside the box, there's a lot of details that I'm working on and I wanna make this absolutely fucking perfect. So I'm very nervous, that's my mood right now, nervous. So let me tell you the idea for Say You Swear, right? What? I wanted is literally just like to represent the beach house and like how they meet and the friends and all of that. Basically like kind of like this vibe. But then I got the cover back and it's giving Nicholas Sparks. It's giving Nicholas Sparks. It's giving nothing. Like go ahead girl give us nothing. So I fear I messed up. I fear it's not what I want it to be. And now I'm like well fuck we got to start over. Oh, that's so fucking stressful. That makes me want to die. And people love this book so much that I need to do it justice or else I'm going to be so sad at myself if I don't do a good job at this one. But the idea is like beach town, beach house, something with the beach. I want to include Romeo and Juliet in there somewhere because obviously they call each other that. I want to have the quote in the back that his mom says to him without spoiling anything. I want to have that there in the language she says it in, which I think is Italian. And then I want the translation under it in English so everybody knows what it means. I want some sort of quote at the top, like some sort of tagline at the top as well. So like the idea is there. I just need to spice it up. I just need to make it fun because something is missing. I also have realized through this process I'm very picky with fonts because every single font they have been sending me I'm like I don't like that <laughs> and it's like I'm the problem like it's not the font it's me y'all I'm literally about to leave for the gym but I need to tell you my best idea ever my best idea till this day mark it down right now Larry had the best idea I'm gonna include playlists I'm gonna include playlists in my special editions every special edition is gonna have a playlist made by me in the beginning and it'll have like the the couple like it'll say like no and ariana from say you swear and then it'll say larry's version like taylor's version they're shiny <laughs> hi love Hello. anyway isn't that the best idea you've ever heard in your life it combines both of my loves for books and then for music wow i'm a genius i'm feeling like a genius all that insecurity i was feeling before it's gone it's gone a confident bitch has stepped in i'm sorry the old larry can't come to the phone right now why? Oh, cause she's dead. Oh, oh, look what you made me do. 
so i am a little stressed out y'all because we just got the edits back from binding 13 and it doesn't look at all like what i wanted and this has to be perfect so we had to switch artists which i feel so bad about because i'm like i really wanted to work with this artist but we had to switch them because they just weren't getting like we just weren't on the same vibe you know there's nothing wrong with that we just weren't on the same level you know and i feel so bad I hope none of these people hate working with me because I have been making so many edits to everything but it's only because I want this to be perfect. I swear there's no other reason. <laughs> it's just because these books mean so much to me and I know they mean so much to you and I never want to let you down. I want to make sure that you love these and I'm sorry. I'm sorry to the people that are working with me. I'm sorry Eternal Embers if you hate me. Speaking of edits, we also got back Archer's voice as well and that also doesn't look at all what I wanted. Like the people don't look like, it's supposed to be like a cartoon cover kind of vibe. Doesn't look like what I want it to be. Let me explain to you what I want Binding 13 and Archer's voice to look like. Binding 13 and Keeping 13, I want them to be like going together. They're not in the same book, they're separate, but I want them to be like, I want it to be cartoon, but I want it to be like realistic cartoon, like not too much cartoon because the books are serious. So I wanted to keep that vibe. I want the Tom and College like in the back, in the field, the rugby field and all of that. I want little objects throughout that mean a lot to the book so like the newspaper of when Shannon and Johnny took a picture together I want like the the mixtape he made for her that says like CDs for Shannon I want that I want the little note like will you be my friend check yes or no I want a little rugby ball like a little little headphones to listen to music little texts maybe a little like a hospital IV or something like that because that's a important in Binding 13 and I want them to be kind of just like shyly looking at each other because they're not like sure yet but they want to be together and then in Keeping 13 I want that same kind of energy but I want them to like I want the date outfit like in the first one I want them to be wearing their uniforms and in the second one I want the date outfit that they went on a date with and she was wearing a red dress and he was like in, in heels and he was like he got a haircut and all that stuff and I want him to be picking her up and like the color palette that I want for both is like dark blue gray like that kind of vibe to give it a more serious energy and then on the spines I want the objects there as well and then I want two quotes that I'm picking in the back that one's very important to me and it's not looking like that at all and then same with Archer's voice that one's like a cartoon kind of vibe in the front I want the cottage with like the lake in the back and I want them together I want him to be holding a bouquet of chocolates because that's what he made for her it can't be Almond Joy's for copyright purposes but like chocolates nonetheless and I want her bike to be there with her dog Phoebe on it and like his dogs I want the the cottage in the back the lake in the back and then on the back side of that I want the town and I want to show Norm's diner I want to show like where they met I want there to kind of be like a storm rain kind of thing in the front but not too much just kind of like an overlay because she's scared of storms however I got the edits back after I like said exactly what I wanted and it it's not looking like it. So we switched the artist for binding and keeping. We're still with the same ones for Archer. Let's hope that like these edits I sent work. Stay tuned. But things are not looking up. However, redeemed. Redeemed? Here's redeemed. Here's redeemed. This is exactly what I wanted. For redeemed, I wanted something scenic. I didn't want anything cartoon because I feel like Lauren's vibe is not that. So I wanted something like, like a scene. And in the book, it's like the whole point is like Santi is feeling very down he gets depressed because he's not able to race anymore and F1 is his whole life and he just shuts out from the world he's like a storm within himself and she comes in and she's like the wildflower that like kind of brings him out so I wanted that to show in the cover which is why you see like the racetrack in his car and then I wanted wildflowers growing from the concrete because it's like growing in a place that you wouldn't expect that's exactly what I wanted to show it's like her growing in his life and then I wanted it written she's my kaleidoscope in a world of gray because it like describes the storm that's going on it took me forever to get this font the redeemed font took me forever to decide on this amen that i finally got it and then in the back i wanted because he makes her a little embroidery and he writes that quote on it so i wanted the embroidery he made and that's what's in the back I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with this one and it's gonna be foiled so like the the lavender is gonna be like kind of shiny looking this one is perfect. This one is perfect. Like I sent edits and it took a little back and forth, but it turned out amazing. I'm very proud of this one. I'm very happy with how it turned out and Lauren loves it, which makes me so happy because if she didn't love it, I would have had to scrap the whole thing. I would have like switched it up. I'm not letting my best friend not love the cover I made for her book, you know? <laughs> anyway, oh, I'm so excited for this one, but binding and keeping and Archer were struggling and we're struggling with Say You Swear because like I said, it's giving Nicholas Sparks still. I haven't even started on the Sinners duet haven't even started. The Sinner's Duet, I wanted to look, let me tell you, this is exactly the vibe. It's going to be two in one. The Sinner's Duet is two books. If there are no saints and there is no devil, that's going to be combined. I want a snake on the spine and I want it to be like murder 
serial killer's blood but also art because he like paints and stuff so i want it to be like an art thing but also caution tapes and like serial killer vibes a very scenic thing like that like dark and then in the back i want it to be like a painting and the quote on the painting like the quote about them being so different but coming together i'll tell you the quotes later but that's like the vibe i'm going for haven't gotten any edits back on that one so stay tuned <sighs> lots of feelings lots of feelings are being felt right now but i need this to be perfect update 5000 I, I i i am having a hard time okay it is a tough time right now to be alive because it's so hard to find artists that see the exact same vision you do because no matter how talented somebody is you guys have to be on the same page right so some of these artists are so insane like their fucking talent is phenomenal but it's not what i'm looking for it's not the exact style or way of of drawing that i want for the specific book you know and of course i made sure that nothing is ai because i do not want to do that i do not want to ever diminish anyone's work so nothing is going to be ai and it's been hard to find someone that has like the exact same vision as me so we've been having to go through so many edits and archer's voice y'all oh my god i'm struggling i told you all that i changed the artist for boys of tommen the new artist accepted and she is going to send like a little draft i think she's going to work out because i feel like she's on the same page as me i think at least let's see her work is amazing but originally like the first boys of tommen johnny was sort of giving like handsome squidward meets michael jackson he wasn't giving johnny kavanaugh he was giving handsome squitter for some reason he was giving spongebob he was giving who lives in a pineapple under the sea okay and now archer the issue is he's not giving archer like when i think of archer i think of like a a worker like a craftsman like he's out there working with his hands chopping wood carrying you over his shoulder that kind of energy but he's also very shy and reserved the archer i'm getting right now is like computer nerd archer it's giving like i can fix your internet it's not giving i can bench press you you know what i'm saying so having a tough time with how exactly i want the cartoons to look but on the bright side we have a little bit of everything right so redeemed and sinners duet is both like not cartoon they're both just like scenic looking covers and then archer's voice and binding and keeping are cartoon so i have half half which I do enjoy that. I received a draft yesterday, which I love, but it's like fully black. It's just like a full black cover, which I like it, but I want more, right? Like I want the crime scene tape to be yellow. I want blood on the cover. I want a frame in the back with like blood on it and maybe snakes intertwined on the border. I want like, I want gory and I want scary looking, but also beautiful, also art, you know, it's a, it's a thin line. So let's see, we also sent the, edits for that but i do have a meeting tomorrow with eternal embers for us to discuss say you swear and what we want to do with our nicholas sparks ass cover that we need to switch and hopefully we'll have some some good ones soon redeemed is the only one that's done literally the only one it's fine it's fine we've got some months left it's fine i'm not stressed out at all say hello look how cute they look everyone Wow, <laughs> we need to just really unpack how I look because I'm I'm not bringing the same energy as they are, but it's fine. It's fine. Anyway, I'm gonna leave the camera just here. Just doing its thing. Things, things, things okay. need to be fixed. How do we fix this? I don't know. That's the only issue. Yeah, it's so boring. It's just not giving anything. That's the issue. Yeah. I also feel like it's almost generic. Like there's so many covers of like not necessarily yeah. romance books, but like in general. I think it's hard though to like put a lot of images in an aesthetic way though. That's like where I am struggling with this because like I feel like we had wanted so many like objects blended in, but I feel like that could detract yeah something needs to change i mean i like the idea of the beach house and i like the idea of like the like that the the idea of it is very nice but yeah it could look like literally any book and especially since this is a sweetgrass specific thing like we want it to be extra special and i feel like yeah. compared to the other covers we've done so far it it's like nothing <laughs> then after she sends like an outline of where the polaroids are then we can sort of find images for each one yeah we need to just kind of have like a sort of just an idea of what it would look like would the background be black and white slash not saturated or like is that what we're sticking with yeah i think that's what we're gonna go for okay yeah i agree the vibes are vibing okay Hold on, you have to remember the fact that, like, some of these are not going to look exactly like how they look right now. Because mm -hmm. it's not the final fo the final version, okay? <laughs> like this, the, the thing is not really going to be over the, the writing. Yeah. You know? Uh-huh. But in these, it's going to be lighter on the inside. 
Look, there's the playlist. Oh, Larry's version. That's me. Gasolina by Daddy Yankee. What? No, <laughs> Gasoline by Halsey. Google Surf Edition. Larry Reads. But yeah, so this is not going to look exactly like this because like this line is not going to be here. This is going to be laminated. You can't really laminate it like on, on this printer. Mm -hmm. It's not printed. The, like the samples, it's kind of like for us to just see the color. Mm -hmm. Just to make sure the color went right. But then it's not going to be printed exactly like this, right? Now, Archer's voice is the one that I'm getting the new one coming in. Remember? Because I don't like that this is all the way up top. Mm -hmm. And also this is, <laughs> it's blank. Because <laughs> they messed up. So, but, that, but that's the color. Very nice. This one is pretty much correct, except this line's not going to be there. And this is going to be raised, right? No, that is raised. Look. Ooh. You did so good on these pads. Thanks, Mel. Did you do the black pages? Yeah. Then, last ones. Some of my faves. These go together. Ooh, the do's. Yay! You did so good. So, do you like them? Yeah, I love them. You did so good. All your hard work. Hello, Eureka. <laughs> Look. You look much better. Look. Are you ready? Yes. Not the final because these are only the samples, but. <gasps> oh my goodness. It looks so beautiful. Amazing. It looks really nice. Look at my playlist. This is going to be lighter because it's so dark here. So look. Yeah. Oh, Mary's version. <laughs> so beautiful. I love those cartoon ones. Me too. So gorgeous. Look! Ah, look at the sides. So beautiful. Oh my goodness. Look at the side. I know. They're all beautiful. Yay! You like them? They're all gorgeous. I actually even think of paper because I like them all. Because they're all very into like the story. They're very connected to the story. Even though I didn't read the scene and by then being sick at 13, whatever. I, I watch your videos many times, so I know. <laughs> They're all very connected to the story, even though I have no idea what the story is. <laughs> Here I am, world. <laughs> Yay. She interrupted my rotting so I could do this. <laughs> okay, ready? First up. Oh my god, not the Sophie Lark. <laughs> Lauren's a big fan of Sophie Lark. Can I say a disclaimer? I haven't seen the actual copies, but like, I gave opinions throughout the whole design process. Oops. So I do know some of the details already. I like the colors on this better. Because I know we, but the first, last time I saw this, you did not have the colors on it. Yeah. And the colors is much better. The contract is much better. Do I know what this book is about? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this needs to be, this is going to yeah, be yeah, yeah. when it's fixed. I was about to say, is that way you can actually read it? Yeah. On that part. This part's kind of fine, but this part, yeah. Yeah, no, it's also going to be on that but part. I like that it's shiny. Yeah. So like, like when it's on your little bookcase, it'll like reflect. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, so nice for your bookcases. Is <laughs> it? This one's the one that looks like a journal at the moment. Picture it like regular book size. Yeah. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> what are we doing, guys? Excuse me, let's not roast the printer <laughs> for no reason at all. He's just doing his job. He messed up. He like novel children's short story. <laughs> oh, me, this one's so cute. Yeah, that one's my, one of my faves. It's I think. so quaint. Wait, I just now noticed the dog. Cute, right? He's I in a basket. I never noticed that the first time. I think it just in my head, I was like, oh, things in the basket. They went to the store. It's like Almond Joy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, beg your pardon? I thought those were like lavender at first no. because it like sticks up like lavender does. I like the colors from this one though. Yeah, me too. And I like the, wow. the way she drew him. Variety. <laughs> Look if at the fucking the box. You can have Look the Look at the contrast in this shit. This one's so nice. I want to live in this house. <laughs> I know, right? By yeah. the lake. On a little lake? Yeah, with a little stone path. This one's happy vibes. Serial killer vibes. Exactly. Because we love But I know some of you motherfuckers will like that. Yeah. It's me, I'm motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know this one. You love this one. I, think I do, yeah. We're gonna get this, guys. Yeah, we're gonna get the knit, the embroidered? The embroidery. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> the knit. English is her first language. It is. And isn't that just embarrassing? It is embarrassing because I have a really unfinished one in there. <laughs> because I tried to do this for a weekend and then I was like, this shit's so hard. <laughs> oh no. Oh, wait, wait. You yeah. kind of did good. Really? Oh, wait, you didn't do all yeah, this? Yeah, no, this is the stick. This, is the stick. <laughs> <laughs> this took me so long, too. Because here's the no, thing. No, 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 no. Let me do this. Lauren did. Lauren did. 
I thought she did all this. No, 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 this no. is already there. Let me she defend did. myself. Uh, this was like a thing you get on Amazon for like 20 bucks. You know, it's supposed to be like <laughs> the adult beginner's thing to embroidery or whatever. So I went to go do it and the they don't have like written instructions. It's just like picture instructions on how to do the stitches, which is like really hard to follow. And then you would think it would just be like, okay, look, I'll just beep bop boop it, whatever. But like, it was so hard for me to get it through and the string like kept falling apart. And I did it for like two hours. And then I was like, this is not relaxing. I'm actually incredibly frustrated. So I stopped. But then I was like, maybe I'll pick it up later. And that was probably a year ago. <laughs> That's my story. Anyway, look at that though. Isn't that nice? That's yeah, that's actually, actually really nice. Yeah, you actually see, did really see, good. See, 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 see. I've got a bit of a talent. All right, see, this is like, it's like similar, but look, look at that. It goes, can you see? It goes shiny, shine. I like that. I like that's purple too. Yeah, is purple a theme? Or did you just make no, one just love? Oh, no, purple the theme in the book? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it is. Okay. It, it, the book is purple, like the actual book. Oh, okay. I like, it's that. like dark, but it feels like whimsical. Yeah. I don't know. It feels like Alice in Wonderland, but like the live action one where it's like kind of dark. Mm -hmm. And then my babies. This one's the first one. This one's the second. Okay. Oh, yes. The school. They go together. I like that this one's like, because they're supposed to be in high school. Kind of. It's like a weird age because they're in the UK and like they go to a school they're in different. You know what I'm saying? They're A levels Ireland. in both of these. Yeah, A levels? Is that what it's called? I don't know. They could tell me. Ireland. I think so, if my knowledge is correct. So, but because it's like younger than those ones, I like that it's like stickers because yeah. it just feels like what the kids are doing nowadays. <laughs> it feels very with the youths. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I like that they're different on it too. Like yeah. that they like. Yeah, because it's supposed to be them getting to know each other, and this is them already kind of in love. Yeah, yeah. So it's like you know, outside so it's, of school. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that it's not the same. And inside. get this, this is a very cute little thing. That's what they wore on their first date. So if somebody reads this book, they will understand that that's exactly what they're wearing. Exactly I could have just picked an outfit. Yeah, I know. But that's but cute. It makes better sense now. I still like the sides. They're same but different. They and have different things. They are the same size. Yeah. So when you put them next to each other in your shelf. One is not going to be a different size, which would have pissed me the fuck off. It won't look like that. <laughs> yeah, because when you have a sequel and they are like, like ones like this, and you put it next to your shelf and they don't line up. Oh. Don't you worry. I didn't know that was a thing that Don't you, you worry. And when I finish this series, which I will, they will all be the same size. Mm -hmm. Same with Redeemed, because I will also be finishing Dirty Air. So they'll all be. No, this one just feels very homey. Yeah, I think they're my favorites too. Cause it's like enough color, but like, it's not like that one. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's enough color, but there's enough contrast where I'm like, oh no, like this just feels nice. Oh wait, did I show you? No. The, oh, a playlist? Wait, let me see, let me see. Let me Larry's see. version. Let me see. Let me see how many songs she's annoyed me with on this one. She will be loved. I don't think I've ever heard you listen to that song in my life. Oh my God, I love that song. Iris Scoodles, sure. It's nice to have a friend, sure. Look after you, she does love that shit. Anything by Louis Capaldi, you love that. She just likes being hurt. Um, Why am I being attacked? <laughs> Me just showing the books I made. You're on your own, kid. Approval on that one. Stay Gracie Abrams. Shocker there. I don't know if you guys remember. She made me go to that concert when I had... She was like, do you want to go? And I was like, I don't know who that is because I don't know anything. And then I went to a concert approximately two and a half hours later after she asked me for a girl I've never seen in my life. It was a good concert, though. <laughs> But for the two and a half hours leading up to going to that concert, she was trying to debrief me on the music and played it, like, the album twice in a row in the car. They all have playlists. Oh, they do? Them. Every single one of them? Yeah. Oh my god, you guys combined her two greatest loves in life besides me. Giant like that's like... Me and Giant. Oh, and get what? Guess the, get this, get this. At the end of every single playlist, there's gonna be a little QR code so they can scan it and it'll go on the oh, playlist. Yeah, so you can just listen yeah. to it. That's nice because if you, if I had to make my own, I mean, we all know I'm not gonna do this, but if I had to make my own, I'd be like, no. Yeah, but they don't have to. What's this one? I'm curious. But yeah, that one's obviously I'm just more. So curious. More so more so this is Sinner's Duet, by the way. I'm curious on that one. Lovely, really? Okay. Dark Paradise, I did something bad, daddy issues, met him last night, wow, this is terrible. Like, <laughs> like you know, the vibes are just well, yeah. real dark. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't read this! It's about serial killers, Lord. Lust for life, the drug in me is you. <laughs> Heaven, my strange addiction, happiness is a butterfly. I'd brace yourself for this one. Okay. Thoughts, comments, concerned. Go by the box. Yeah! You heard it here first. It's, it's Lauren approved, you have to buy it, otherwise I'll hit you forever. And who would want that? Exactly. Não são exatamente as, as finais. O primeiro livro. Nossa, que lindo, os que ficaram. Olha que lindo. Que lindo. Aí você já vai apresentar eles? Daqui a pouco. Olha o Dobby. Larry Reed. É, acho claro. <risos> Ai, ficou lindo, Larissa. Parabéns. Que bom. Te amo, te amo, te amo. Te amo, te amo, te amo.
Você também. I just got home and my official Say You Swear special edition arrived. This is the final copy. <laughs> I'm literally sobbing. I want to show you guys every single detail. So this edition is the one that you only get if you're going to Sweetgrass. It's the only book that's like that. The rest of the books in the box, you can have any of them. Like you'll be able to order. But Say You Swear is a specific edition for Sweetgrass. So this is like the original Say You Swear. Like this. Ta-da. You know. There you go. And this is my Say You Swear sobbing i'm gonna show you every detail hold on i need to show you first of all i made all the editions the same as like the og so that you can put them next to each other on your bookshelf and it will like it'll fit each other because that is something that deeply upsets me so we're not doing that but let me show you every single like little detail hold on hold on hold on i'm literally so excited look so that's the version so i have like a shiny little letter and look at the little details so we have right there it says forever is a damn good start and it's like the beach, and then I have, this is home, he is home, right up there. Then this is the side, where the beach continues, and I put two little Polaroids right there. And this is the back. Mm -hmm. There there it says, what if I keep giving you more to write about? And then this is a quote. You guys know the quote if you've read the book, but if you haven't read it, I don't want to tell you who, it's, who says it. But it says, fear not the fall, but the life that comes from not having, never having leaped at all. Having never leaped at all. <laughs> I can't speak. But look, look at all of the things and then ready my favorite part this is the edge <gasps> oh my god with the little i put a little pinky promise there you go and then when you open i designed this front right here oh my god and then we did this too that's different than the original then it says sweetgrass special edition and then we have megan's playlist but then we have larry's version which i made a playlist and you can scan it and get it on your Spotify and then each chapter I did like a different thing and something really cute that I love is when it switches POVs or switches something like in the middle of the chapter I put a little like pinky with a heart for a promise I'm literally so obsessed with this and I'm so proud of this and I was so scared like Say You Swear was the hardest for me to get absolutely perfect the way I wanted and I kept like redoing it a million times and it wasn't until the very end that I became obsessed with it so I'm very happy with this and I love that it says like Romeo and Juliet <sighs> this is one of my favorites so I'm so glad that it's in my hands oh my god let me show you the rest so these are the rest of the editions so these are like mock-ups the Say You Swear is the official final version these are like I just have little versions so that we could fix anything that goes wrong during printing so these are the versions that i have so these are not like the official final ones the other ones will be like much more perfect than this but here's archer's voice there we have it this is the side look at that oh my god let me show you in full detail hold on so there we have archer's voice there's brie and archer with their little house and I put the little dog over there. I put the lake with the little mountains. Look, look at the Almond Joy bouquet. And here's Brian Archer. It took me forever to get them the way I liked them, but I'm obsessed. And then this is the side. It has like little dandelions on it. And this is the back. Oh, I love her. I love her so much. So like, for instance, you could see this is a mock-up by the fact that it's like blank. I'm just going to use it for pictures and stuff. This is not the final version. And then we have redeemed. This one is also just like, say you swear where it has this. This line is not going to be there. That's something that I am absolutely taking out. And then this is the car. You kind of can't really see with the lighting, but there's the car with the flowers. And it says she's my kaleidoscope in a world of gray. And then this is the back. Look at that. And every single one of them in the front it does have a Larry's version playlist where you'll be able to scan it and get to the playlist as well, every single one. Oh, I love. Then we've got the Sinners duet. It says our madness aligns in all the right ways. Ah, I'm obsessed with the back of this one. The back is what I focused on the most because I wanted the front to kind of just be a little more simple and, you know, just have a little more serial killer vibes. <laughs> This is, again, a mock-up. So on the side, I'm putting a snake, but the snake got printed, like, over the words. This is not going to happen in the final version. In the final version, the, like, author and the title is going to be covering the snake. But the snake will be there, which is really fucking cool. And finally, my final ones, the ones that I'm pretty much, I think, the most proud of because they're my absolute favorite. But there's Binding and Keeping 13. Oh, my God. So here we have Binding, okay? If you can notice every little detail, I put Easter eggs throughout 
the entire cover of everything like even the little detail right here where you have like them in the newspaper and then i have shannon like the river will you be my friend hi johnny and hi shannon the playlist like i have a bunch of little details throughout and then i wanted to make this one a cartoon of course i needed to and then here's the back for this one and then the same thing same kind of vibe but this is the outfit they were wearing on their first date so i wanted to put that for keeping and then of course i wrote for keeps i needed to and again little easter eggs with like the objects and stuff and then the title goes like this and there's the bag oh my god and see i also did the spine with a bunch of objects too also i made sure that every single one matches the original edition so like redeemed matches the original one so it'll it'll like look good next to your bookshelf same with all of the other ones they match like the official final final ones we had to match if they were like picked up by a publishing company i had to match the publishing company ones but they will match the ones on your shelf if you have those and binding and keeping 13 i am finishing the series chloe is allowing me to finish the entire thing cannot believe this so i will be doing saving and redeeming six and they will match this kind of vibe i don't want to tell you the color or anything but i'm already working on that they'll match these and then when claire and gypsies come out i will be doing those as well and finishing up the series with chloe as soon as each one comes out i will be doing a special edition for them and then same with dirty air lauren so graciously allowed me to do the entire thing so i will be doing throttled collided and wrecked and they will all match redeemed so if you want a special edition of those you will have the entire series i literally want to cry i'm so happy about this i've been working on this for a year as you've seen little glimpses throughout this entire video of me working on this so i uh, i hope i hope you love them i literally found a passion in designing book covers i don't know how this happened but i love doing it so i hope i get to do more in the future but this was so fun so i hope you like them Okay, so I have an idea, and now that I have this idea, I simply cannot get it out of my brain. Something me and Lauren love doing is taking pictures, okay? So, like, we love doing photo shoot kind of vibes. Lauren loves to be creative and, like, think of ideas, and she loves to take pictures and, like, look at the lighting and look at the, the way that looks better and all this stuff, and I like to edit them, and I like to look at them, and, like, we, we love doing that. That's the best friend thing we've always liked doing ever since we've met. So, I was thinking the way to incorporate that into the book box would be to each reveal of the book, I want to do a different photo shoot for it. I don't want to just do a reveal of the book showing the book cover and just being like here it is like i want to do a photo shoot that has to do with each book so here are the ideas okay i don't know exactly how these are going to turn out so don't quote me on this in case it turns out bad but i think for boys of tommen if i can find a college that like resembles that kind of vibe of tommen college where like older like boarding school kind of energy if i can find that and then maybe have a rugby ball and like a jersey with johnny's number 13 on it i'd probably have to make that but if i could do that holding the books i think that would be really really cool and then with Archer's voice, I think if we can find a little diner and I can write like Norm's diner on it or something like that And we can do like make the Almond Joy bouquet with some dandelions. That would be really cute And then for the Sinners duet, I think it would be so fun to have like one of those destroy rooms You know those rooms that you go to and you like paint everywhere and you can like ruin stuff I think one of those rooms because they're like painters in the book and it's like such a big part of it And maybe if I have like a hammer or, a, or a, what are those things called a machete? I feel like machete probably won't work but like a hammer or something like like that that looks bloody and if i have blood and stuff that could be a way to do sinners and then redeemed if i can find a racetrack y'all if i can find a racetrack or if i can find like a field of flowers or like maybe do flowers with cement i don't know something along those lines i think would be really cool so stay tuned i'm gonna work on these pictures i only have like literally less than a month to work on these because then we're revealing every single book and we're revealing the box and i need to figure it out i need to figure out i also need to find a way of how i'm going to reveal the book box like i haven't revealed that i'm doing a book box yet and i don't really know how i'm gonna go about that but i'm excited nonetheless <laughs> you know what this reminds me of no except completely different what? but i've got a message for president snow <laughs> fire is catching do you know what I'm Us, with literally snow on the floor. You, fire is catching. And if we burn, it's more like frostbite is catching right now. I would. You burn. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm fine as long as there's no wind. Can, can me. There's gonna be wind, girl. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Now I gotta take this one hands off. <laughs> <laughs> Those shorts were so short, it looked like you had no pants on at all. Okay. 
Hello. So that brings us until today. When you are watching this, the box is officially live. So I'll put the link in the description so that you guys can get it. And let me give you some details in case you have any questions. I'm going to try to answer everything, hopefully right now. Stay tuned, okay? First of all, all of the books that are going to be in the box are these, okay? So we have Archer's Voice. Then we have The Sinner's Duet. We have Redeemed and we have binding and keeping 13. So first question I'm assuming is if you can buy the book separately. Yes, but it's very limited. From what I'm told, you can only buy the book separately like a couple of people. I'm not even really sure. So you may have to get the whole box. If you want the books, I hope you love all of them. So I hope you get the whole box. But if there's one specifically that you just want that one, like you just want Archer's Voice, you can try to do that as well. I just don't know how many of those are gonna be available. And question number two that I know a lot of you have is Say You Swear. This is the edition of Say You Swear that I made. This is specifically just for Sweetgrass, which is the author event that was on Saturday. By the time you're watching, this. I haven't gone yet, but by the time you're watching this, it's on Saturday. <laughs> Because you're watching this on Monday. Yes. Okay. Anyway, according to my calculations, the Sweetgrass event already happened. And that's where you were able to buy this one. That is the only place that you could get it. I'm so, so sorry. It is just a, a Sweetgrass exclusive. Like people make exclusives for books, specifically for book events. And that's what I was asked to do with this one. So I can't make it like for anyone else. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I would love to like just have everybody have this because I think it's so beautiful. Maybe one day, but as of right now. No, it's only a Sweetgrass one. So this one is not available in the box, but all the other ones you can get your, your little hands on. Like I said, I'll put the link down below. Question number two, it is international. So anyone will be able to get this box. Question number three, is it gonna sell out? I don't think so. We literally like stocked up as much as humanly possible. Like I have as many copies as I possibly could have gotten. So hopefully everyone can get it, everyone that wants it. Question number three, hold on. If you'd like, you can also get this sweatshirt that I made. Can you see that? Hold on, let's make this darker so you can see. It says, in my romance and coffee era. It looks like this. And you can get this sweatshirt as well. You can get the sweatshirt by itself if you want to. Or you cannot get the sweatshirt, just get the box up to you. And the sweatshirt will come either in pink or in black. It's the same design, but pink or black. Pink, I think it's small to 3XL. And then black, small to 5XL. So you have some options. And if you buy the box today, like the first day that it sells, you can also get a free espresso cup it'll come with the box here it is it says cute but emotionally attached to fictional characters <laughs> and then it says good morrow on the inside <laughs> i'm absolutely obsessed with this cup so if you guys order today you can get the cup for free no the cup will not be for sale it's just like a free thing that i wanted to give you guys for the support if you order today so like i said i'm putting the link down below so you can order it literally right now as soon as you see this whenever you'd like i think those are all the questions you guys are gonna have if you have any more questions leave them in the comments and hopefully i can answer them or eternal embers will answer them if you have any but i'm pretty sure that's literally across the board all the questions that we're gonna get i'm so excited for you to get your hands on these oh shipping i don't know anything about that because i'm not the one doing the shipping stuff they are but i'm pretty sure you have to like with special editions you wait like several months like you wait like a month or two or something like that because i ordered the souls trilogy by harley larue i ordered that like four months ago and my special edition hasn't arrived yet because it has to like go through customs and then it has to go through the dock it has like there's a lot of of processed with special editions so i know it takes a while so if you haven't like if you order and your box doesn't come for a second just know it's it's, it's on its way and you can like follow on instagram um my instagram right here eternal then eternals <laughs> eternal embers instagram right here for any updates you guys have um and you can message ask questions if you want to ask them anything here it is i think that's it i love you guys so much thank you so much for supporting this this was literally such a fun process it was the most fun thing i've ever done and now i know that i love designing book covers so maybe in the future i'll design some more book covers oh my god wait speaking of i feel like you'll have this question too i don't know why i forgot about this so obviously if you get binding and keeping 13 you know that that's a series and there's also saving six redeeming six there's going to be timmy seven i will be finishing the series with my special editions and they will all match this one so yes i will also i'm working right now on saving and redeeming six so if you get these you will also be able to get saving and redeeming later i don't think you'll be able to purchase these except now though so if you want saving and redeeming six and you want everything to be like you want the whole series make sure to get these and then get that one when it comes out i don't have a date for that yet but i am working on it and i will be doing taming seven as well Chloe's letting me do the entire series it actually comes out with them so I will be doing special editions for all of Boys of Tommen and same with Redeemed. If you want Redeemed and you're like, oh my God, I also want Throttled, Collided and Wrecked. Don't worry, I'm working on that too. So that will come as well. 
yeah, anyway, this was so much fun. Thank you so much for your support. I love you, I love you, I love you. I hope you love these as much as I do. I've been working on it since, like I said in this video, I'm pretty sure I started working on it February of last year. So it's been exactly a year that I've been working on these covers and finally being able to share it with you guys. I'm just so excited. I hope you love them. Love you so much. Have such a good day. I'll see you next time.